Hey girls, Tiffany Dawn here, and I'm here with baby Minnie today. I was trying to adjust the camera so you could see the little baby bump as we're talking. We're six and a half months pregnant, which is very exciting, week 27. So today I wanna to talk about a question that you girls have written in a few times recently, and I thought it was a great question, a really tough one, and several of you have written in asking, like, am I gonna be single forever? I have this dream, I wanna get married, but are, do you think God's saying no to my dream? Do you think that I'm someone who he wants to keep single forever is that something that God does and I remember wondering the same thing when I was single I think it's totally normal to have questions like this especially when you end up waiting longer than you thought you'd have to wait I know for me like I really wanted to get married by 20 my dream in life was actually to get married by 20 and then move with my husband to another country that was close to the gospel be missionaries together and by the age of 22 be martyred or killed for our faith that was my very romantic childhood dream. I'm so thankful I've not been martyred. But um, yeah, so I like, I dreamed of getting married young. Most of, a lot of my friends got married out of high school or out of college. And each year that went by, I just felt more and more like, is this ever gonna happen for me? And especially if there's not a lot of like good guys around, if you don't see a lot of potentials, it can be easy to think like, God, do you actually have somebody for me? Like, do you, am I supposed to be single forever or am I gonna get married? And I think that's a normal question to ask. So first know that you're not the only person asking that question and I think it's a normal question. Now as far as the actual question, like are there people God calls to be single forever? Probably, I think we see that in scripture. Paul considered himself to be one of those people who is like, I've chosen the path of singleness. I feel like I can do this ministry for God, being single, and he chose that path. But the thing is like when God gives us a gift or a calling, he also gives us this supernatural grace and I think a desire to do it too. There are times when we like kind of fight the call that God has on us a little bit or wrestle with it, absolutely. But I think at the end of the day, there's like this bit of desire in our hearts. Like there's something that comes alive in us when we're walking in our calling that it's, it's like different than anything else. We're just like, this is what I was made to do. So even in Paul, with Paul in the Bible, it seems like he felt God called him to a life of singleness, but you don't see him writing like, man, I really wish I could be married. Man, I'd really love a wife right now, but God's just not letting me get one. Like, I just wish he'd let me get married. Like you don't see that at all. Like he seemed very content with being single like he he chose that and he wanted that so when we don't have the grace for it or the desire for it then i'm guessing god probably has not given us that calling now does that mean that we're going to necessarily get married we don't know like the future is unknown and that's what's so unsettling about this question and that's what brings up this question we don't know what the future holds and i remember like praying when i was i broke up with my first boyfriend when i was 19 and i was a hot mess the relationship was a terrible relationship but i was like god am i ever gonna get married could you just tell me just tell me if i'm gonna get married and when i'm gonna get married i just want to know and obviously god did not tell me and I'm thankful for that now because if I'd known that I would have had to wait 10 more years to get married, I think I would have just gone after the next guy that came along. That would have, to me, that would have felt like asking too much. That would have felt like, I can't wait 10 years. I can't do that. That's too long. And so I'm thankful he did not tell me what the future held, but instead took me one day at a time. And that's really how we walk with God, in trusting him one day at a time. It reminds me of when I was learning how to drive. I had my permit and so my dad was driving with me and he was telling me how to get where we were going and he would tell me when to turn like as soon as I needed to turn and I like planning ahead and I was like dad can you please just tell me four steps ahead and I will memorize it and get us there and then you won't have to tell me at the last minute and I won't be wondering until the last minute and my dad said Tiff this is how God leads us. He doesn't tell us four steps ahead usually. He doesn't tell us the whole way because then we wouldn't need him. Instead, he tells us each step of the way, right when we need to hear that next step. His word is a lamp to our feet, you know, right in front of us. The Proverbs say, look at the path, look at the path right in front of you, right where you're going right now. All God calls us to do is trust him right now, with today, with this step in front of us, to say, okay, God, I don't know what the future holds, but I know the one who holds my future, and I trust you, God. So if you girls want a song that maybe can encourage you, I actually wrote a song during my mid-20s called Someday, and it was about this idea like, God, I don't know what the future holds, and sometimes it feels like I'm never going to get married, but I'm just believing that you have a path 
that's going to fit me perfectly. And so if you girls want that song, I actually have it set up. So if you go over to my website, tiffanydawn.net, and sign up for my mailing list at the bottom of the page, I will it will automatically send you a copy of Someday just for free as an encouragement and little gift to you. And then you also can get little occasional update emails from me, like about two awesome series we have coming out very soon, The Wedding Night Talks, coming out in a week on July 6th, and a new ebook called Is He Right For You coming out later this summer. So I'll email you too when those come out. So I hope that this can help. Thank you so much to the girls who wrote in that question. It's such a good question. And I love you all and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.